the tiniest crustaceans to the most massive mammals. Here are 18 of the fiercest moms in the animal kingdom. 18. Orangutans. Did you know that these great apes have the longest nursing dependency of any critter on earth? Offspring will not stop weaning until the age of 6 or 7, and that makes for a pretty hardy mom right there. But the female orangutans are also known to build a new nest every night out of branches and foliage. Throughout her lifetime, she could potentially create more than 30,000 homes and can often accomplish many tasks while holding on to her young. 17. Red Knobbed Hornbills These birds from Sulawesi, Indonesia exhibit a trait that can be rather uncommon in the animal kingdom, that being monogamy. Since the eggs are coveted by monitor lizards, the birds build the nests inside the holes of trees. To further discourage predators, the tree entryway is narrowed by using a sealant made from the bird's own poop. Throughout the two-month incubation period, the mother stays in the small hole while the male will pass along food to her and the young through a space cut in that seal. 16. Meerkats the small carnivorans from southern Africa are known to prey on venomous creatures like scorpions and snakes. Now of course it takes a lot of training to handle such deadly prey, and that's why meerkat moms, along with other family members, show a lot of patience in tutoring the offspring how to deal with arachnids and reptiles. Adult females will injure scorpions, then give the stinger of the still living critter to older pups to practice on. Through mimicking the adult meerkats and heeding their instructions, the pups are soon able to subdue and eat their own prey. 15. Pandas As adults, female pandas can weigh upwards of 275 pounds or more, but when they're born, the animals will weigh only about 5 ounces. That's about as heavy as a stick of butter. Proportionately, they are the smallest baby born of any placental mammal. Now, since their offspring is so tiny, panda moms are known to cradle the cubs close to them almost constantly. Now, such closeness is also necessary since the cub will nurse up to 14 times a day for 30 minutes at a time. 14. Emperor Penguins Now you might recall the parenting skills of these Antarctic birds were the subject of the 2005 documentary March of the Penguins. They are the largest and heaviest of any extant penguin species and are the only species that breeds during the Antarctic winter. After laying an egg, the mother transfers it to the male and then can march up to 60 miles within two months or so to reach the ocean to feed before returning home with fish to feed to a young. After the male makes his own journey to and from the sea, the parents will take turns caring for the chick and foraging in the water for food. 13. Alligators There are two species of alligator, one found in China and the other in the United States. And we're focusing on the American gator here, and you would expect the female of this species to be a terror to anything that threatens a young. Did you know that to avoid sitting on the dozens of eggs, she will build a nest out of rotting vegetation, leaves, and mud? As that compost heap decays, that helps to keep the eggs warm. And during the two-month incubation period, the temperature plays a vital role in determining the gender of the hatchlings. A temperature of 93 degrees or higher produces males, while a temperature of 86 degrees or lower produces females. 12. Gorillas The great apes score a lot of points with experts who claim that they are exceptionally nurturing mothers. Since gorilla infants are so helpless, the mothers serve as primary caregivers and are vital to the offspring's survival. Even though they learn to walk at around six months old, the safest transport is riding on the mother's back. The kids nurse until about the age of three or four and are known to share the mother's nest until age six. And gorilla moms are not protective only of their own offspring. In 1996, an eight-year-old female gorilla at an Illinois zoo helped rescue a three-year-old boy who fell some 20 feet into her enclosure. So maybe that was a case of maternal instinct crossing species. 11. Southern Elephant Seals Females of this species can weigh in at some 1,700 pounds, 
That's pretty impressive, until you realize the males can tip the scales at around 8,800 pounds and even more. Females are typically parts of harems consisting of upwards of 50 individuals, all surrounding the alpha male. The pregnant moms will bulk up with extra weight during a gestation period that lasts around 11 months. Now, after giving birth, she'll lose some 600 pounds as she nurses her young with rich milk. Experts say that nearly 80% of mature females will breed in a given year. 10. Whales The massive marine mammals can have some mean mammoths, depending upon the species. And since they all deliver one calf at a time, that makes for few offspring. But each one has an above-average chance of survival. That might help also foster the strong protective maternal instinct. For example, a gray whale in Monterey Bay, California, placed her calf on her back as she used a tail to ward off a part of predatory orcas. Witnesses said the calf was battered, but the mother saved it by outracing the killer whales to the shoreline. 9. Polar Bears while Goldilocks never encountered polar bears, the term mama bear would certainly apply to this species. Mama bears, of course, are characterized as being strong, powerful, and protective of the young, qualities this mama polar bear is noted for, as you would expect from such a huge parent that weighs upwards of 800 pounds. Now another 400 pounds is added on during pregnancy, and all that baby weight is necessary because without it, the mother's body would reabsorb the fetus. After digging a maternity den, the mother enters a state similar to hibernation where she sleeps for two months and will even sleep through the birth of a baby. 8. The Biggest Mammoths African elephants are the world's largest extant terrestrial animals, and females can weigh more than 7,000 pounds. In this matriarchal society, it tends to be a group effort in helping the calf stand up after birth and then teaching it how to nurse. The mothers are never too far away from the calves, who learns which plants to eat and where to forage by watching the adults. The big mothers also have a well-earned rep for being a protective parent and are known to come to the defense of the offspring if they sense the young is in any kind of danger. Did you know that elephant moms have a pregnancy that lasts some two years and their newborns can weigh around 200 pounds? And by the way, they're delivered without any type of pain medication. How about that? 7. Suriname Toads now, this amphibian, found throughout much of South America, exhibits a type of parental behavior that might get under your skin. During a mating ritual, the female will release up to 10 eggs, which the male helps to embed into a bat. After a few days, the eggs are fully implanted, forming pockets over the skin, making the female's back kind of look like a haphazardly made honeycomb. After developing as tadpoles there, the young will eventually pop out of the mother's back as toads that are fully developed. The mother eventually sheds that thin layer of skin used for birthing and is ready for the unusual cycle to repeat itself. 6. Mama Bear Now we kind of touched on this one earlier when we mentioned the polar bear, but still we were wondering if it's really true that the last place you want to find yourself is smack between a mama bear and a cop. So, is this an absolute fact or just an overblown myth? It turns out the behavior seems to depend upon which bear species you're talking about. For instance, evidence has shown that black bears exhibit no effort to defend the cubs against aggressors. In fact, mom is far more likely to run away to save her own fur. But grizzly bears, or North American brown bears, are far more aggressive when it comes to defending the young. And experts say that around 70% of human deaths have occurred when a grizzly bear was defending her cubs. So, in light of that, it might be more correct to compare a protective mom to a mama grizzly. What do you think? 5. Octomom Well, there's big families and then there's octopus families. Did you know that Mrs. Octopus can produce upwards of 70,000 eggs after mating? Now that's a lot of kids to bear, in every sense, so she would need all eight of those arms to keep watch on them. She'll guard the eggs for around five months, protecting the offspring from predators and providing them with oxygen by blowing water currents over them. 
She has to do this, otherwise many of those eggs would not hatch. Now chances are, though, she won't be around long enough to know that. Since she doesn't feed during this time, she's going to die shortly afterward. And males actually die a few weeks after mating. 4. Sea louse. Now here is a method of childbirth that might put you off the whole notion of repopulating the species altogether. Sea lice are small crustaceans that feed off the tissue and blood of host marine animals fish in particular. Now, these parasites are found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and have proven to be a major concern for salmon farms. The mating ritual involves the female being lured by the male to join his harem, which can consist of around 25 females. Now after mating, she gives live birth in a manner that's right out of a horror movie. Her young ones chew their way out of her and that's from the inside out. One has to admit, kind of a lousy way to go. 3. Common Cuckoo Now here's one mother who decided it was just too much trouble to raise her own young, so she let someone else do it. These animals are known as brood parasites, which basically refers to organisms that rely on other species to raise the offspring. And this mom is pretty sly. She lays her eggs in other bird nests while pushing out whatever egg is already there. Not only do the eggs mimic those of the host, but the mother cuckoo can mimic the predatory sparrowhawk, meaning she's going to be left alone while making that switch. 6. Gastric Brooding Frog Now these amphibians actually went extinct in the mid-1980s and were native to Queensland in Australia. We're including them because they had a style of reproduction that required the mom to be a seriously tough parental unit. After her eggs were fertilized externally by the male, the female would gather those eggs or embryos into her mouth and swallow them. The tadpoles incubated inside her stomach for at least six weeks, and at that time, the female would regurgitate her fully developed offspring, sometimes all at once, in one single great heave. 1. Canadian Geese Chances are you've had an encounter with this critter from the Great White North. They're known to be pretty cranky anyway, but if you get too close to the young, which are called goslings, both the goose and the gander will launch a nasty attack in an attempt to chase you off. If hissing at the intruder doesn't work, the birds will follow up with a series of bites and a slapping of the wings in an assault that can potentially get rather violent. So you want to keep your distance. 